All right, I'm gonna walk you through a quick tutorial on how to program custom sizes into the copier so you can copy and print from odd size um, papers. So for example, so you have a small sheet. This is one we just cut down for you. Um, the platen area does have some measurements, so you can use that to kind of help give you a guide. Uh, the best way though is just to take a ruler and just pull the ruler up to it and find your your X and Y measurements. Um, once you have those, once you've measured both sides, when you come to the display, uh, this is your ready to copy screen. You can hit your, if it's in a different screen, just hit your yellow reset key and we'll bring it back. Oops, I'm sorry, actually it will not. So just make sure you're in copy mode. Once you're in copy mode, you'll see an option for paper. You'll touch on paper. Any odd size, custom sizes, we're gonna recommend you do from your bypass tray. So to select that tray, you're gonna select here. Go ahead and drop your paper in the bypass tray, and you're gonna wanna put this in a uh, landscape. So the longer side you want left to right. So not like this, but this direction. So you're gonna drop that in there, align your side guides here. Just make sure the sheet is all the way into the machine. Once you have that in there, you're gonna get a pop-up asking about the paper type. So this is gonna to have to do with the thickness of the paper. Uh, if you look at the end of a ream of paper, it's gonna tell you the weight, and then it'll uh, say, for example, like 28 pound, and then it will show the gram weight. That's what this use, utilizes. So plain papers between 64 and 90, thick papers between 91 and 120, so on. If it's a thicker paper and you're not sure of the gram weight, just put it on thick three. That's gonna cover most um, better to have it set on a thicker setting um, that's that's too much than not enough. Now once you have the, the thick setting set, now we have to tell it the actual dimensions of the paper. Um, to do that, you'll click on custom size. And here you'll have an option to set a custom size and also save it and name it. So um, for example, this sheet here was seven... Um, Actually, I forget the measurements, but it's, it doesn't really matter. As long as you know the measurements. To, to change them, the first number, um, you can use this arrow to go from the first side to the second side. So if, say, if you wanted to make this 5, or 6 is as, as small as you can go for the X. So um, say we'll set this at 8. Um, and if you use that, it'll go over to your second section, and you can change your increments. So we'll do say eight and seven eighths and then your y this you can make much smaller so you can go down the floor that's why we put in the landscape direction versus the uh, portrait direction uh, so you can change this to whatever size you want so once you have your coordinates in there what you'll do is you'll click the store option touch on memory and we'll put that in there and you've got five options and you can rename them. Once you have it in there, click on the change name function, touch on the one you want to name, and you can use the pad here to clear it. And then up here, you can type in, we'll just do test and okay it and click okay or close. So now that's saved in there. So whenever you want to do that standard size, touch on paper, you can come back to your side. So even if it's set to plain paper, um, and a standard size, you can always come back now, touch on that, and put it back to the main screen. So you can touch on paper, touch on your side tray, touch on tray settings, set your thickness if needed, and come down to your custom size setting, and just simply choose the test, or however you name it, we name this one test, and it's going to automatically um, put those dimensions that you saved in there. Click OK and custom size should be highlighted now and you're good to go. You just have to make sure that the file size you're printing does match. Uh, if it doesn't match you're gonna get a no matching paper size and usually what it's gonna do is whatever paper tray is empty, these orange lights on the front will show you some empty trays, it's gonna say please load whatever size it thinks you want to print on in that tray. Two things you can do. You can either delete the job, go back in, edit, the uh, document to the correct size, or you'll get a message that will say paper tray settings, 
You can click on that, it should be right around here, and just touch on the tray you want to use, and then you'll be able to click start and force the job through. So hope, hope this helps. For some reason you run into any issues, uh, you're welcome to uh, go through our website, the support tab, and submit a submission, and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.